Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Spiral 2 Ripto's Rage. In the last episode, uh, we came here to Scorch, and we helped uh, the two little secret agents, uh, Hansel and Gretel, or no, Handel and Greta. Forgot their names. Um, uh, they were supposed to blow up a castle, I don't think they ended up doing it, but we fought a, a dude who looked suspiciously like a genie in a diaper. Um, and then we collected all the gems and everything, but I did actually miss something in here. Um, it's actually a skill point for hitting all of these uh, palm trees. So uh, this episode may be a little longer. Whoa! Uh, because I have to go through this level again. Although I could probably cut that out. Um, which I might just do just in case, just to save a little bit of time. Yeah, I think I might do that. I might uh, just cut this uh, this part out, getting all the the flags, you know what I mean? Um, and then uh, just cut back to, oh, oh, almost got hit there. Uh, just cut back to me hitting the last flag and then getting the skill point for that. Uh, so, do you know what? Uh, I'm gonna jump up these stairs and I will be right back. Alright, and there we go, um, kinda came a little bit late on that one, but uh, as you saw this last uh, tree, I uh, did get the, uh, what is this, I did get the skill point for it, oh, that almost hit me and the snake, good thing I got the snake first, uh, I did get the skill point for that by hitting that last tree over there, uh, there was probably a sound for it, uh, hopefully that will pick up in the audio, if it didn't, uh, you'll see my health or my life goes from 34 to 35. I don't know why I'm still doing this, uh, but my health goes or my lives go from 34 to 35 because I uh, I hit the last. Uh, I don't even know why I'm still in here. Exit level. Uh, yeah, because I was still in the. Man, I'm losing track of my words. My lives went from 34 to 35 because I got the skill point for hitting that last palm tree. There we go. Okay, so now that we're done Scorch, we're going to come immediately down here and hit another level. And this is one of my favorites, so let's just get right into it. As you saw there, uh, we're in the land of, I'm guessing they're fawns, but I totally forget. I'm not going to talk to her yet until I grab these gems. Already flamed the flag, which is good. Let me just get these gems around here before I talk to her. And ooh, that's a cool statue. Even though I'm sure you saw by the cutscene, um, the those big rock dudes turn these guys into statues. But uh, let's talk to this... Uh, I'm guessing it's a fawn or a satyr, uh, swinging a yo-yo. Well, hello there, Mr. Dragon. Hm, you're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. Alright, so, she is, is a fawn, she's not a satyr. She is a fawn who thinks I'm cute for a quadruped. Um, and the Earth Shapers, aka the big rock dudes, have encased their temple in stone. Whoop, gotcha. So we have to, uh, stop them somehow. Not sure. Oh, no, we got bees. I don't like bees. Nope, not gonna fight that guy. Nope, nope, nope. That is an ultimate nope for me. I'm ac actually, if you didn't know, here's a fun fact about myself. Uh, I'm allergic to bees. Or possibly. Hey, no. Die, son. Good thing Spyro's not allergic to bees, or he'd probably be dead. But yeah, we're supposed to stop the Earth Shapers from. Or not stop them from anything. We're supposed to stop them in general and uncover the temple, which I'm, th I'm pretty sure it's that thing right there. Yeah, the thing with the three spires right there. It's all covered in rock. And you do that by unleashing these guys, just with a charge or a fire breath, and then you can hear their amazing music.
Thank you for releasing me. There are still some sages trapped in stone. Okay. So, we released one of six satyrs in stone. So these guys are satyrs. I guess fawns are maybe the female version of uh, satyrs. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I'll look that up after this episode and see if that's true. And then I'll put like a little boop, yes they are, or boop, no they're not. Uh, yeah, so we're supposed to release six of these guys, so here's a second one for you. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I should keep on playing their music, but uh, I probably will. Uh, yeah, so I guess you could say that music has some explosive sound. <laughs> you know, bad puns all around here. And go back in, and boom, you're dead. Yeah. Dang it. So I guess you cannot charge those guys. Uh, oh, here's a third one. Bam. Okay, so that's number three of six. Get a zap by Zoe. Kill this weird bush that's trying to eat me. Oh, and we see another dude up there. I love how we're not getting down to any of this bottom stuff until way later. Like, most of the level takes place up top, and then once you get about halfway through, then, then you get to the bottom stuff. But let's listen to the fourth guy. Okay, so that's number four of six, so we got two more left. Uh, I'm pretty sure you get most of them, if not all of them, before the end. Like, you'll, I think you, there's one there, and then there's one, like, right at the very end. Uh, and then we're done for that, and then you can get to the end of the level and get the talisman. But, of course, I'm not going to do that. It's great to be free! Now there is only one satyr left to rescue! Cool. Alright, so now we only got one left, and we're almost done this level. This is probably one of the easiest levels to do, just because it's very, very straightforward. Uh, you, you know, you go along this path and, you know, da 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 da, take care of all the gems, grab all the... You know, grab all the treasures, kill all the enemies, ow! I hit you. Duh, burn up, you stupid tree. Uh, well, here's a place where I always miss gems, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's somewhere else. Nope. Okay, so. Uh, this is actually a challenge, but it leads to... It's it's takes up almost a lot of the rest of the uh, level. So I'm going to save that until I after I get this guy. Wait till these guys, this bees, this bees, these bees go back in. And then we can unleash, unleash, ah oh man, I cannot talk today. Uh, we can unleash the last satyr. So there you go. Now that you have rescued all the satyrs in Fracture Hills, you ought to go into the temple! Well, okay. I do that. I, I do that a lot for some reason. It's like I'm tasting some, some soup. Alright, so yeah, now he wants us to go to the temple, but we're gonna talk to this fawn to see what we gotta do next. A dragon! Perhaps you can help. My friend is locked in this room and lost the key, and you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night. Okay, so uh, we're supposed to break down the... Oh, 
how many do I have left? I have to get 14 enemies. How many do I have? 12. Okay, so I need two more guys. Uh, so we're supposed to break down the door because her friend's locked inside. And we have no way of getting a locksmith. So the easiest way to do that is not get hit by that guy. <laughs> easiest way to kill those guys is to push them in the lava. Uh, actually, right now, that's the only way we can kill these guys. Um, other than that, we have no other means of... Ow. Don't hit me, you butt. Bow, bow, bow. I'm not sure if that's picking up, but every time you hit them, they go... Bow, bow, bow. Come on, hit me. Hiya. 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 And then they wave goodbye. Oof. Alright, so now we got 15 enemies defeated. Oh yeah, here we go, we also have this. We also have this thing, of course you guys have seen this before. Uh, you can't break it, it's resistant to everything, so we have to either get a rocket or supercharge um, in order to break it open. And that's exactly what we have to do, is we have to get a supercharge and we have to jump off of uh, that path right there, that path up top. You have to jump and sail right into that thing, and if you can do it in one shot, I will be massively impressed, because I don't think I've ever been able to do that. Uh, but, for right now, we have nothing really else to do except for this challenge. Um, we could do this challenge here, um, but this one is extremely hard, and I will... Pr I, I actually might end the video. Um, once I'm done pretty much all, pretty much everything else, um, and then make a separate video right after it, like the next episode, we'll be just trying to tackle this uh, first challenge, uh, because it is extremely hard to do, and it takes a lot of patience and time and effort, and I hate every minute of it. This is, this is probably, if you ask me what my least favorite, uh, what my least favorite challenge is, uh, it's probably this one right here, because as you can see, Hunter's encased in stone because of the Earth Shapers. He pissed off. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so you're supposed to free him. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you guys what you're supposed to do in this uh, quest. You're supposed to free him from the stone, uh, but the only person that can do that is an alchemist who's brewing a potion for him. Uh, so you're supposed to guide the alchemist through all of the Earth Shapers and not let him get hit. Uh, and he go he doesn't just go from his door around Hunter, he goes, you know, a big long loop uh, through all of these guys, and it takes forever. Uh, and it's, because if you get hit right at the very end, you gotta start all the way over again. And it can be really, really annoying. Uh, so I'm going to do this charging, this charging mini game. Try to break open that uh, vase that we have to break open with the supercharge, and then get uh, the skill point in here, and then I'm probably gonna end the episode there. Um, and then the next episode, I will probably save specifically for, dang it, uh, specifically for doing that f challenge. Because the challenge after that um, is actually, you can't do until you get close to the end of the game, uh, which you need the head bash for, which I don't have yet. Uh, you can do it when you get the head bash, or you could save it until the end of the game, and then ch cheese your way. Oh, I did not mean to hit that guy. Ah, oh, look, some more gems. <laughs> Missed them. I always miss something in, in this game. In every level, I always miss something, whether it be uh, a gem, an orb, uh, an enemy, a talisman. Well, actually, talismans are kind of hard to miss, but it's mostly gems, and I'll miss, like, one. Uh, so it can be really annoying. But the whole point of this is you're supposed to go through this supercharge um, course, um, and not get hit by anything and jump and then you're supposed to go across this and right into here BAM and there we go she gives us an orb I'm pretty sure and let's go talk to her oh thank goodness you broke that door down for me I thought I'd be stuck in here forever I found this fancy orb in here please take it <laughs> Yay, we get an orb for freeing her. See, now this one makes sense. She finds the orb in here, but then she also gets trapped. Um, that 
kind of makes sense for the orbs, but some of them, like in last episode, uh, him finding, uh, Hunter finding out that a monkey had an orb. Dang it. Uh, that one's kind of, kind of dumb. Even though he did have to collect the monkeys for the Avalar Zoo, uh, he could have gotten the orb first and then be like, hey, uh, I have this orb uh, now that I found this for you. Can you help me collect these monkeys? And I'll be like, oh man, I'd be like, yeah, sure. But uh, apparently not because I'm smacking my head against the wall. And hopefully this episode doesn't go on too long because uh, I'm failing at this. Oh man. Okay, let's just get a grip on where we are. Spin around a few times. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, oh right, I totally forgot. Uh, the skill point for this, whoop, the skill point for this uh, this level is to get through the supercharge three times in a row, and pretty much what that means is get through the supercharge gate three times. So you just have to do that. So that was one. And I'm gonna do it two more times, and you have to do it all in one go. Uh, so you cannot stop for anything Which actually now that I'm playing this after having played this game a billion times um, is super easy oh Doing this in Three times in a row is extremely hard especially if you have to concentrate but now that I'm talking, it makes me want to concentrate even more, and I'm pretty sure this is the third time. There we go. We got that skill point, boy. Okay, now let's go through it one more time to see if I can get that uh, treasure chest. Pretty sure it's right here you're supposed to jump off. Yep. Dang it, and I ended up failing it. Okay, so I gotta jump. Uh, I gotta pretty much whip that corner and jump all the way around. Okay. I got it now. And I just have to find my way all the way back up. And we're at 18 minutes. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. I usually like to keep my episodes about 20, so... Hopefully I'll be able to... Well, I actually might uh, get the talisman only in the next episode, just because it's not... It's kind of pointless doing one challenge, and then if I fail a bunch of times, you know, then that's it. But if I pass it in, like, my first go... Ah, there we go. And jump. Nope. And I hit the wall. Dang it. Oh, man. That is what I don't like to see. Where am I going? Where am I going? Right. Dang it. Ow. Right here. Let's make ourselves some bacon. And I got an extra life for that. Yes. Okay. So now we've gotten the orb for releasing her. We've gotten the skill point. Just need to get this chest. And then I'll probably call the episode there. We'll get the rest of the gems. And uh, that challenge in the next episode. Yes, there we go. Four tries later. Uh, there we go. So that gives us a big chunk of our gems completed. Actually, I might be able to get a few more gems um, before I call it quits for this episode. Let's go. Oh, that was terrible because the camera was the, not the right way. The cool thing I like about the supercharge is if you go through it while you jump, uh, you fly a little bit. It just makes it fun if you're trying to get a little bit more distance. Okay, so I think it's through this door here. Yes, gotcha. Okay, yeah, so now we're on this side, so we can. I love that hit. Just dunk, it slides right into the lava. What's up, man? Boom. Bam. Pow. Shazam. Gotcha. Let's go right around this guy. And there we go. There, got you too. Okay, so now we're gonna go up here. This is the beginning of the level, but there's actually a few gems up here. I'm gonna get these guys, and then I will call the episode there. Ow. Don't laugh at me, how dare you. Okay, so that's that's probably going to be about it for this episode. Uh, the temple is actually right there. I'm going to glide over to it. Ho oh, ho! I thought I missed. Okay, yeah. So the temple is right here. We got some. Oh, we got some gems in here. Let's get these. Um, and I'm going to wait right outside this. Boom. All right. 
And now that we've gotten that many gems and we're all the way up to the end of the level, about to get the talisman, I'm actually going to call it there. And in the next episode, we're going to get the talisman, uh, try the first challenge, and hopefully we haven't missed any gems. And we will, uh, you know, finish the, uh, whatever we can in the level, and then we'll peace out and hit the next level. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Super Poseidon out.